All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to another episode of the Remarkable Coach podcast. As always, I am your host, Michael Pacheco, and today with me I have Christine Meyer. This is Christine's um, uh, encore at the Remarkable <laughs> Coach podcast. <laughs> She was on before uh, in the in a in a an episode released, I believe, in June of 2021. Um, so we are recording in May of 2023. So it's been almost exactly two years, almost. Um, yeah, Christine is a life coach whose mission is to empower, uplift, and educate. She believes that everyone can joyfully and playfully live, and that no apologies ever are required for that. Her book, Keep It Simple, Smarty Pants, was awarded number one new release on Amazon in 2020. Christine Meyer, welcome back to The Remarkable Coach. Well, thank you very much for having me back. It's always fun to come back. Yeah, thank you. Um, Why don't you just tell us, so, well, first of all, if you haven't had a chance, uh, for our listeners and viewers, I strongly recommend you go back and check out that uh, that episode again it was released in june of 2021 and, and christine for those that have not yet had a chance to to listen to our previous episode why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do in your own words in my own words well i have the best job ever of course <laughs> i get to work with amazing amazing human beings who are typically leaders and they range from entrepreneurs to obama speechwriters to philanthropists and investors. And I just get to kind of be in their back pocket and help them dream bigger and get out of their own way. They've already obviously accomplished a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's Mm -hmm. always fun and great to have someone in your back pocket this way, because you don't realize always how you're getting in your own way. So I get to partner with them really, and, and watch them achieve all of the more things that they want to achieve in life. And they're incredible human beings. And I help them become better leaders as well. Awesome. Sweet. That sounds great. Tell us, uh, I mean, tell us a little bit about what's new. And it's been about two years since you've been on the podcast before. What's new since we last chatted here? Um, Well, I'm working on book number two uh, coming out in 2024. At least that's, that's the plan. Yeah. And um, been working with more incredible human beings. Um, I am thinking of starting a, a private podcast huh? for more of a like a living room feeling of of huh? people gathered together. And gosh, what else? Um, I, I don't know. A pandemic has sort of erased my memory a little bit. And <laughs> it's like, I don't know what happened in the last two or three years. I, I think, I think, on, I think on a level that we can all relate to that. <laughs> yeah. Some of it seems like a blur and certainly on the, on a personal and business side, some things I've just sort of let go of that seemed important at one point in time in my life. I just, I can't think of anything in particular. I can't give you a a particular example, but I've just noticed over the course of the last few years, I've always done this, but it really emphasized what is important Mm -hmm. in the last, you know, with the pandemic pandemic happening and stuff. So I've just sort of stripped away a lot of things and, and my book is called keep it simple, smarty pants. So of course I've just even, I've simplified even more Mm -hmm. and really, um, honed in on just putting the blinders on a little bit in terms of I'm just going to stay in my lane and do what I do. Mm -hmm. So that's not new, but it's just been emphasized with what's happened in the last few years. And I think it was, it was a, a good shift for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And I took some time off. I took some extra time off over the last summer. I just decided I was going to pull back a little bit and just reevaluate, reevaluate, rediscover, Mm -hmm. renew, refresh, re-energize and just say, is this still something I want to continue doing and how? Yeah, I love it. So tell us about tell us about that, because I think that's 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 a super relevant topic to our listeners and our viewers is, you know, struggling to our listeners and viewers are all 
high achievers, you know, arguably yeah. successful, highly successful people who, you know, run businesses, they are, are coaches, they're consultants, they're in this in, in the C suite, uh, in, in companies, you know, finding time to pull back from all that and making time to you know, I, I hesitate to use the word, the phrase self care, because it's just been so overused. But that's kind of what we're talking about a little bit, or at least, you know, do some retrospection, some introspection, at least, right? Yeah, and consider, um, you know, what has worked well, what's what what hasn't worked well, what changes I should potentially consider what, you know, what things I should keep doing. Tell us about your 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 let's call it a journey, uh, yeah. your experience last summer when you took that time off. What, what was that? What was that like? What did you do? How did you do it? Well, well, I'm, I decided I was going to call myself a chief putzer because uh -huh. <laughs> I, I like to putz and, uh -huh. and I wanted time to just putz around. So mm -hmm. that's how it, it looked. I took on fewer clients and I, and I, I planned for it though by not taking on clients when they were coming to me. So I just allowed myself to take a break. And does that mean less income? Does that mean, yeah, it does, but I planned for it. So I didn't just suddenly say I quit. And it was a, it was an intentional shift. It was, it was not one made that from a place of not feeling good about where I was. It was just more, you know what, we've had this downtime and I want to give myself that downtime as well. Yeah. So uh, it was it was just a lot of hanging around and and going in the pool and looking at my flowers and planting my flowers and not, you know, nothing, no big plans, not let's go here and fill all the time. It was just quiet time mm -hmm. and just really contemplating my journey to where I am now mm -hmm. and whether this is what I want to do when I as I keep growing up and move forward. So there was just, it didn't look like anything in particular. It just was chilling out, having no particular place to go and having a, a more open schedule. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, sure. Self-care. I didn't really think of it that way. Mm -hmm. I just, it was a, it was an intentional move. It was an intentional retrospection in to to retrospection of what has occurred and what I want moving forward and mm -hmm. just making sure that I wasn't blindly following someone else's path blindly following what I've heard out there there's a lot for us coaches in particular I'm sure a lot of other people but mostly coaches for me because I'm in the coaching industry there's so much advice out mm -hmm. there and there's so much information on how to 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 build your business i've been in business for a long time but you know how to proceed as a coach and how to how to how to and and mm -hmm. i found that to be getting really really noisy mm -hmm. and and it's i think it it's a slippery slope can be a slippery slope a fine line if you will on on you you get so much information you take in so much information and was i truly evaluating if that was right for me felt right for me and was it really what i wanted to be moving forward with in the direction so i just took stock of my values and what is truly important to me and yeah how, how important is it for you for your clients for leaders for business leaders for anybody to um, you know, to create space for boredom and allow, mm. allow yourself to be bored. I think that's something that, you know, there's, there's this little device that, <laughs> that will keep you occupied, um, at the, the most inopportune times when a little boredom can, can, can be of service, right? I think boredom is of great service because it makes you desire something. Mm -hmm. And so as you allow that boredom or that idle time to settle in, I think that if you don't make a big deal about being bored and get stuck on being bored or fill it with things to distract you, it can produce a clear desire and it can or desires and it can produce inspiration to try something to 
go do something you've never done or to think about things that you've never thought about. And I think that space is really important for me anyway. I I don't do well with a very crowded calendar. Mm -hmm. I, I like the time to just really contemplate, is this something I really want to do? And am, am I aligned with it? Am I contradicting myself on it? Is this something I'd like to sit? I like to, I like to work out in the mornings. I like to just contemplate how I really, what I really think about that instead of ingesting so much information and just taking it for as, as what it's being delivered as I like to really figure it out for myself and say, Hey, do I, does, do I agree with that? Or do I like that idea? Or what could I do with that idea or things like that? So I think it's really important for, for that inspiration to, and, and to get to know yourself right to become very self-aware so i really like space yeah you might say yeah. that you keep it simple smarty pants 100 percent, i keep it simple smarty pants yeah yeah <laughs> and and you know being busy it, it, we i think we use the word a lot and and we, we can be we can have a full day. We can have full weeks. We have kids. We have businesses. We have all of those things. I get that. I travel four hours a day now, taking my daughter to school and coming home and then going back again. I get it. And if we're constantly filling our lives with stuff where we don't get to take the time to just really connect with ourselves, mm -hmm. then I feel like we're we're disconnected from the true power that we have and then we start looking out there and reacting so i've for me that time to myself that quiet time that downtime that scheduled blank space on my calendar if you will is really important to me to just connect with myself and then proceed out in the world as the best version of myself mm -hmm. and and less reactive self if i don't have that time it it's if i've notice something earlier in the day let's say that's gotten my goat someplace and i'm not tending to that then i can tend to be out in the world being more reactive like we all do so i think mm -hmm. it's important to really take that time and just work it through <laughs> yeah. yeah i think i think i think a lot of people you know, and it's especially difficult for entrepreneurs and business owners but a lot a lot of people tend to conflate busyness being mm -hmm. busy with accomplishment right okay. busyness and accomplishment are two different things or being productive right sure yeah. but but if you're if you're constantly reacting or if you're in a state of overwhelm or a state of of panic about something in your business and you take action you fill your day you you get busy trying to fix those things you're all you're doing is perpetuating what you don't want to be perpetuating You'll just keep bumping into that. So the value of taking the time to consider how am I feeling about this? What am I, what am I thinking about this? And how am I feeling about that? And then, and then doing something about how you feel and your mindset, your perspective about it is, is, and taking the time to just give yourself space is way more productive mm -hmm. than just throwing darts at the wall and trying to stay busy and you know we've we've built this sort of heroic um, perspective if you will about being busy oh good you're busy yay yeah i'm busy i'm busy we wear it like a badge of honor i'm busy i'm busy yeah but are, are you in I, yeah are you actually enjoying that are you in taking the time to enjoy your kids at home are you taking the time to enjoy your mate at home or or the people around you or nature or 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 there's so many things that that busy does not compensate for mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i think you're yeah you're absolutely right we've we've kind of glorified the hustle in especially certainly in in, in entrepreneurship uh circles right and in in, in 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 small business and we've we've also glorified the hustle in entrepreneurship and we've glorified the overwhelm in entrepreneurship we we just assume that being an entrepreneur comes with being busy and mm -hmm. being overwhelmed mm -hmm. pretty much and and i just i i i reject that idea mm -hmm. I, you can you can have it doesn't mean you won't be busy doesn't mean you won't get 
overwhelmed. Sure. It, you will have those moments, but I, I do not buy into the idea that you have to be hmm. entrepreneurship equals any of those things because it doesn't it's, and that's why I like that space. It's, it's about being intentional. It's about evaluating how you want to move forward, but from a, more of a feeling place more in it, you know, really intentionally rather than blundering and just g- jumping into my day and take, tackling the day i i don't do that that doesn't yeah. work for me yeah yeah that makes sense tell us about your your new book that's that's you're working on yeah well it's about relationships and that's that you're in a relationship with everything that you think about so think of that book as a very general approach to relationships but a foundational approach to relationships and of course it's going to be under the keep it simple smarty pants trademark for this series, a series of books under that title. So it's going to be simple, it's going to be direct, and it's going to be entertaining and and there and profound in many ways, but really simple and and practical and applicable to life. So what I'm going to be focusing primarily is that relationship with yourself first and foremost, because as you go out into the world, if you don't have a good relationship with yourself, it does translate into relationships with others and so while it is a relationship book i don't have a a subtitle for it yet that's that'll be last minute thing or a middle of the night thing when i wake up in the middle of the night and i'll say that's it but it's primarily focusing on those foundational pieces and then it's like you got to learn how to sit up you have have a, a young daughter she she had to learn how to sit up first before she could learn to walk she had mm-hmm. to, she, there are many foundational pieces to that progression. And so I'm going to be talking about that relationship with yourself first and how, why it's important, how to cultivate it, how to, how to really solidify that. And then how that translates into relationships with others at work is we're not just talking about personal relationships we are talking about relationships with anything that you think about basically so mm-hmm. yeah it, it's coming together and uh hopefully like my last book it was sort of pc and coming together along the way and then you know i got it done in in a weekend from those pieces it's just a matter of getting it there fleshing it out yeah yeah sure very good yeah. very good and you, you also had mentioned you're considering starting a private podcast that's going to be like a fireside chat kind of thing. This sounds interesting. Tell me about this. What is this? Yeah, like? I'm excited about that. That's just a, an idea in the making. So yeah. I'm just, I'm building some momentum in my own thought forms around that <laughs> rather than, rather than, you know, putting my foot on the gas pedal and pushing forward before I'm really ready to energetically ready to move forward with that so so the idea is that i'm going to create a a private podcast and i'll have people sign up for it and willingly listen to it versus being out there in the ethers and and have a podcast broadcast everywhere and Mm -hmm. i i want i want the feeling to be come into my living room it's it's going to be like that idea is that we're just in this in my living room here and we're having this intimate conversation about the things that i coach about the things that i talk about and Mm -hmm. it's going to be short it's going to be you know it might be 10 minutes today and it might be 20 minutes next week and Mm -hmm. but it it won't be formal there will be nothing formal to it there won't be any big production music there won't be any 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 it's just going to be more like you and i having a conversation it's going to be me talking but you know and then i'll just let it evolve however however it evolves yeah Yeah. very cool very cool are you is it going to be is this going to be like monologue kind of style podcast? Are you going to have people on and, and make it interactive? What is What's your plan? For with now, that? for now it's monologue again, keeping it simple. Right. And that's all part of my mantra, right? That's all part of my, that's one of my values is keeping it simple. So for me, starting a private podcast is much simpler than trying to think of all of the other things that, yeah. that a really produced podcast requires. And so it's going to be monologuing about things that I think are valuable because I I want to inform and educate, if you will, and really get, I am very deeply immersed in the subject 
of my coaching. And I feel like there are so many things that could be understood in more precise ways Mm -hmm. and nuances. So I, I love nuances. I love specifics. I love layers. And so I, I want to be engaging with people who like those layers as Mm -hmm. well, who want more information, who want to learn more and, and, and cut out the layers of crap that is, that are often associated with, with the understanding of mindset, the understanding of energy, the understanding of, of connection with yourself and all of those things. So yeah, it's going to be a monologue and, and I'm going to take relevant subjects of course but sort of break it down and and demonstrate how this applies in these situations Mm -hmm. so again ideas in the making i haven't done anything about it i've talked to myself about it (laughs) and and it it will take shape and form when i feel when i feel like it's a 100 hell yes and until then i'll just keep i'm going to take pleasure in the idea of it yeah and let that inspire me into the movement forward yeah i love it i love it okay so so book coming out in in 2024 Mm -hmm. private podcast coming out when momentum is built up at some point in the future yeah um where can people go to to learn more about you to connect with you online uh, Christine Meyer coaching.com is my website. I'm on LinkedIn under Christine Meyer coaching. I'm on uh, Instagram, Christine Meyer coaching. I'm very consi- simple <laughs> and consistent at, at all across the board. Yeah. That's good. That's great. As a, as a, as a, as an, a marketing agency owner, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Very, very right. Good. Find me everywhere. It's Christine Meyer coaching. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, Christine, this has been great. Is there, is there anything else that you would like to chat about that we haven't had an opportunity to, to talk, to touch upon yet? Oh gosh, I'm sure I could think of something, but right right now, I think it was a great conversation and, you know, really relevant to just in general, to, to taking the time for yourself and call it self-care or just call it reevaluating or call it really being intentional with, with your choice of movement forward, your choice of, of means and ways that you want to create your business, that you want to create your life. I think that, that I really like that subject about being intentional and deliberate rather than blundering through it. And intentional and deliberate doesn't mean I'm not fun. Mm -hmm. Right. I like to, I like to play my way through those things, but I, that does not mean that I blunder either. Sure. Yeah. Sure. For sure. No, I think that's great. I, I, you know, I, I think of it in my life. I think of it as intentional boredom, um, where mm. I just like to disconnect sometimes and go for a walk without the phone. You know, things like that. Einstein, I think, was was famous for for saying, and I'm butchering this quote, but basically, essentially, right, all the best ideas come on on walks or in showers or whatever. Right. When you're disconnected, yeah. Discon- you're disconnected else. from. Yep. Yeah, and I, and your I, to your point, is able to sing a little bit at those times because it's not being bombarded with a whole bunch of crap. Right, and and you know, to quiet your mind and and stop thought allows that inspiration to come mm-hmm. in. When you are constantly thinking your thoughts, you it's like it's like a crowded plate. You don't have room to pile any more on. Yeah. And so, and then your crowded plate also, it's like, where are the potatoes and where's the meat? They're all covered up a little bit. You can't distinguish what's really there. So I think to your point, taking that walk or, or meditating or listening to music and, and intentional boredom, I think is, is really intentional. Quiet time is really beneficial to allowing yourself to receive those inspirational and just not be so noisy in your mind, because when you get you, when you keep Mm-hmm. blundering through your day when you stay busy i think that you miss those opportunities where where you're getting hung up on things you, you miss those opportunities of understanding how you're proceeding forward in from what mood and attitude so if you slow it down a little bit you're more able to discern you have a better <clears throat> ability to, to discern where you're where you're coming from in those moments yeah i do yeah. I dig it. Christine Meyer, thank you so much. ChristineMeyerCoaching.com. Christine Meyer Coaching everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, Christy, it's been great catching up. Thanks for making the time to chat Thanks. with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you. It was really great to see you again. Awesome. And thank you, of course, as always, to our listeners and viewers. You guys are fantastic. We'll see you next time.